Laureen Teske, I'm home. Greetings, Prime Minister of my heart. <laughs> now we must make affectionate contact as husbands and wives commonly do. <laughs> Please stop it. You are making me desire marital relations, and it's not the fourth Saturday of the month. <laughs> How was your day, Stephen Harper? It's not easy being the President of Canada. <laughs> there is a false perception. I will not let members of the party speak. Well, I think... Silence! <laughs> also, part of our first budget speech is still being criticized by the opposition. Which part? The part after Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Many people are upset that there was no money to stop global warming. And the Navy is unhappy there's no funding for icebreakers. Precisely. With global warming, we don't need icebreakers. <laughs> the press are angry you are not accessible to them. I will address that when I introduce my new legislation. The death penalty to all members of the media. <laughs> Stephen, even you can't... Got gotcha, you, psych! <laughs> Zing! Stephen Harper residence, no homos, please. <laughs> it's for you. Stephen Harper is off duty. It can wait. Take a message. He is busy, President Bush. <laughs> Hello, George. What can I do for you? Right, 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 right. Sure, no problem. What did he want? I'm not sure, but I think I just sold him Alberta. <laughs> A lot of people are saying that that was a bad deal you made for Canadian softwood lumber. Not true, Laureen Teske. I negotiated a very competitive arrangement with the U.S. Which is? They tell us what to do, we do it. <laughs> Stephen, I think President Bush is a self-serving, manipulative, controlling bully driven by big business. Yes, I like him too. <laughs> Stephen, I am worried about our future. The Liberals may be a force to be reckoned with when they get a new leader in December. There's no problem. There's not? Not if I call an election in November. 